He no doubt knows every inch of the island of Palm Beach, every easement, breezeway, alley, street. He's in charge of the undergrounding project, a big, massive, controversial project that is not done yet. Our Mitchell Friesen, photojournalist, caught up with Steve Stern, and Wendy Rutledge has that story. Tim, Steve Stearns has a very tough job. He's got to keep this 10-year project on schedule and on budget. Now, I'm going to tell you that he just issued this public thank you to many of the residents who have already given their permission for easements to go on their property, but there are still a significant number of people who have not yet granted those easements, and that's a concern. Here's his update. Take a good look at this southern section of the island of Palm Beach, and it's not what you see, it's what you don't see. Big, ugly, possibly dangerous wires and poles. If you take a drive down in that area, you'll see that south of the Lake Worth uh, Bridge, those poles are out of the ground and it gives a completely new and improved look to the area. For a project that will take about 10 years to fully complete, lots of early progress has been made. Phase one in the north and south are done. Wires are buried and poles are painstakingly being removed. Phase two construction is underway and scheduled to be finished by summer. Phase three construction has just begun and will continue for about nine months. What has the potential to slow progress is the fact that the town has only been able to obtain 80% of the easements needed to move forward with Phase 3, just south of Worth Avenue. Uh, the town's requesting those residents in, the, in that area, from in the Orange Grove Road, Monterey Road, south to List, uh, List Road, to please help us out and uh, think about the aesthetic improvements of the area once we're complete and the, um, we just need everybody's cooperation up there to stay on schedule and on budget. What's at stake if residents and businesses refuse to grant the necessary easements is the hefty FEMA grant awarded to the town, which hinges on timely progress toward completion. FEMA has generously awarded the town eight and a half million dollars. However, we have to stay on schedule to maximize uh, the money that we'll be able to apply for and uh, spend on the town's behalf. And of course, that's going to lower our total cost for this project uh, by somewhere in the order of uh, 8 to 10 percent. Next on the undergrounding agenda, a community meeting geared toward residents of the C streets. That's the phase five area. And again, the primary concern is working with residents to secure signed easements so the project can stay on schedule and the FEMA grant money is protected. Phase 5, including the C Streets, will be addressed Friday at the Mandel Recreation Center.